Hey everyone, Kevin here once again with my one, two, three cents. And I don't normally do a blog and a vlog on the same topic, but if it's a big deal, uh, something that I think is important, then I will go ahead and do a supplement either with the blog or the video. And today I'm doing that with my blog that I had written earlier today on the death of Macho Man Randy Savage. It was one year ago today, in fact, that the Macho Man died. And I can still remember being, uh, I had just left work and got a text from Chad, who is my writing partner at my 123 Cents, and he has posted some videos here with me as well, uh, saying that Savage had died. And I thought at first that it was, uh, I was hoping anyway, that it was some sort of rumor. Um, and I immediately got on my phone and, and did some searching and, and did confirm the information through TMZ, and I think Fox News and a couple of other news outlets were reporting it. Um, you know, Savage's death was a big deal to the wrestling community, but to the entertainment world as well. He was one of those uh, few wrestlers who I think had the crossover appeal that people who maybe didn't necessarily watch wrestling or follow wrestling knew who Randy Savage was through some of his movies that he's done and through uh, the Slim Jim commercial, you know, Snap into a Slim Jim, uh, with that unique voice that he had and uh, just the flair and the pomp and circumstance, if you will, uh, you know, made him kind of a household name. And uh, he is sorely missed still today. Um, and will be forever, and I'm really hoping, I had hoped this year, that WWE would put him in the Hall of Fame at WrestleMania, but they did not, um, and I, you know, I don't know exactly the politics behind all of it, I'm sure there's some sort of reason, and, you know, maybe someday they will uh, change their minds, or will decide to put him in. Um, I thought it was awesome, though, that CM Punk, for a few matches, wore the pink tights with the white stars on them, and did the elbow drop, obviously a a clear tribute to the Macho Man, and I don't know if the big show when he uh, climbed to the top rope and did the elbow drop on Mark Henry uh, a few months ago on pay-per-view, I don't know if that was a tribute as well or just uh, something to kind of show that he could do an elbow drop as well, but, um, you know, Savage was one of those guys that, you know, definitely uh, hard to duplicate, you know, often imitated, never duplicated. The Macho Man Randy Savage May he continue to rest in peace, and thank you for watching my one, two, three cents.